YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to another live commentary. Today, we're talking about the iconic messenger. Now, context. Last time the gun was available, I never got a head seeker roll because at the time the perk wasn't that cracked. But fast forward to today, it's actually really nasty for two burst kills. So my goal in this video is actually to go over a couple rolls. Right now, I'm showing off the god roll that I consider being rapid hit and head seeker. But I know plenty of you have probably spent some time grinding for some messengers, have a couple rolls in your vault that you're curious how good they actually are. Oh, I'm slowed. Help me. Nice. Good trade. Yeah, so we, we have a bunch of other roles that we'll go ahead and uh, showcase. I'll put some timestamps and whatever. I want to get a feel for some of these different perks being like rapid hit, moving target, keep away. Let's get a flank here. That's some good damage. Took one down. Nice. Two bursts. I have somebody weak on the right side. We have to find a way to fight for that zone. Hello there. Got a flank. That's beautiful. Now we have a pulse rifle angle. You have zone yeah, so right off the bat, I can tell you rapid hit feels incredible. As soon as I proc some of those crits, my pulse rifle becomes a laser beam. Now, at this point, when it comes to barrels, man, people are just all over the place. Whether they want arrowhead break, more range with something like small bore, or more stability with polygon rifling. We're all over the place. Good kill, good kill. I'm gonna rotate back. Now, I, I do like this roll. I think it's pretty solid. There's been a couple times where I actually opt to not use uh no time to explain because basically that pulse rifle is kind of like the goat right it's been so hard to find anything that's better than that pulse rifle and messengers probably like the closest to actually standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with that weapon like stat wise we're pretty much there the biggest difference being the exotic perk and honestly Sometimes I really underestimate how cracked that perk is. Now right, let's go ahead and uh, swap weapons here. We'll finish the match off with another head seeker roll. This time I'm going to use moving target. No rapid hit. But we do have more aim assist and faster movement speed. We have that target acquisition as well. And on top of head seeker, we might be seeing a lot of guns having a ton of aim assist when it comes to hitting our shots. Nice, we took him down. I am already noticing a significant increase of, like, bullet bending. <laughs> Rapid hit makes this thing a laser, but I kind of do prefer... Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of do prefer the gun just not being a complete laser beam. Oh, that's a good flank. And on top of having a moving target with that target acquisition, we actually get... Uh, some increased movement speed, which is welcome on these heavy feeling type of pulse rifles, right? Nice. Let's get on that zone. Perfect. I'm going to try to buy some time here. Let me get out of here. Things are getting way too chaotic. Nice, we got the cleanup on that player. We got the cleanup on that one. I can't actually really challenge. That's another one on my right side. I got your back. Never mind, I don't have to reload. So you can already tell I'm I'm feeling this um, moving target roll much more than I am feeling the rapid hit. It makes me wonder, what is rapid hit going to be better with? Probably something like keep away to be honest having that tight stability and increased accuracy range from keep away might be a way better combo than i thought it would be with head seeker well there's somebody on b we can't take him down yet maybe we could shoot down the barricade nice kill barely got him nice we took him down i hear a pulse riff on the far right Yo, that aim assist is insane. Back 
30 seconds stand between you and victory. What? Oh, what? How did I just get double melee through my shield? So that was nice. <laughs> I like that the rapid hit one was a straight up laser beam. Then I felt like we had less potential to have that head seeker come in clutch. Thank you for saving me. All right, next match. Let's try out a different role. All right, so for this match, let's go ahead and try out moving target with keep away. And then I'll go ahead and change the role as well halfway through the match. You know, once I get like my, my thoughts on this gun. That's some good movement on this part. How did that push me off? You guys chasing me down. Oh, I barely survived. Oh no! <laughs> the entire team was so fast to push. So yeah, thanks to Keep Away, we should be able to challenge players at a longer distance, experience better accuracy, which is honestly an S tier perk. Regardless of the weapon you're using, we need to make a collective push here. Nice, took one down. Someone in front of me. We broke his shields, but he has that rift, which is key. Nice, got the cleanup. And just like that, we actually take zone control. Beautiful, well done. I got your back. Well done. There's someone far range. That moving target keep away, I can actually tell. <laughs> and I got uh, killed by the architects. Oh, nice teammate support. Oh, he actually went for the other one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was solid. I thought that I was way healthier, but I still ended up dying of the Tango explosion, which is shocking to me. I hit some pretty good shots there. <laughs> Oh my god, I can tell, I can tell. This thing maps. It felt so crispy at that far range. Let's see again. Like, the accuracy was just insane. Uh-oh. There's so many players challenging that lane that I can't take the 1v1. I feel like I've seen enough. Keep away, it's really good. I like it. Let's try a Desperado rapid hit. I know Desperado used to be like insane on the messenger. I think Desperado was introduced for the first time again. Um, no, I was in the middle of reloading. I was saying um, Desperado was actually introduced for the first time after many years of being gone on the messenger. And it was so meta. People loved using it. It was all over the place. Yeah, I'm not really hitting those shots from afar. I'll keep away now. Oh, he's gone, and I'm dead. <laughs> We're having a tougher time holding map control against these guys. That's no shields. Nice, that's one. Ah, oh, I still got shot in the back. Need to find a way to get in there for my teammates, I guess. Can't quite do it. I am trying to get us the zone back, but I cannot. I had to pop off with the shotgun for a little bit there. Um, the Desperado, I, I feel like having to get that one kill and giving up the consistency of the weapon performance, I wasn't I wasn't really impressed. I didn't really like notice when it shot faster. I didn't really like it. Now I have another one that I think might actually be better because Desperado got nerfed and that is Kill Clip Perk. So let's go ahead and give that a try. All right, so now let's check out the last roll that I picked up, Rapid Hit with Kill Clip. So the, these type of combo perks are pretty fun because you'll get one kill, reload, and then you have Kill Clip, right? And basically what happens is you destroy people's HP thanks to that kill club damage. Somebody on B, I'm gonna try to like... Nice, good help. 
That guy's absolute. We're actually getting pushed from so many different angles, it's quite difficult to log on a part of the map. And there's that kill clip. Not only giving us more damage, but also indirectly buffing the range on this, meaning we need less crits to actually, you know, two burst somebody. Okay, we have some two players actually ready to challenge his own. Can't see anybody on A. No targets to use his kill clip on just yet. There we go, that's one. Looking for a target. Nothing middle. Took him down. Ooh, and the flank. Oh. Oh, there's two there now. I might get pushed. That's a 120 hand cannon. I'm very weak. Let's get some nades going on here. We're doing a really good job controlling this mid map. So obviously the downside is if you can't find targets to keep cheating that kill clip, you're going to have less fun with it, right? Get that kill. Put some good damage, but unfortunately it looks like we're actually getting a spawn flip now. Three minutes remaining. Enemy has your zone. Took him down. Oh, that's Anteus. All right, so I, I saw what I had to see with the kill clip. Obviously, the big boy damage feels good. I enjoy it. Let's go back to the role that I actually felt like was the best. That felt really good to me. And that was a moving target head seeker. And the reason we came to that conclusion was because all that aim assist makes the gun kind of like impossible to miss with. Oh, look at that aim assist. <laughs> it was good shots for my part, but... That flinch was wild, though. Oh, yeah, dude. I immediately feel like I'm just frying so much more now. Nice kill, nice kill. Watch out for the flank. Beautiful team shots. Man, you could just tell as soon as we put on the moving target head seeker roll. Holy beams, my guy. All right, we can't stop that player. He has a good cover. Holy. Oh, yo, this thing is nasty. Bring it home, Guardian. Here's some shots on the left side. Oh, my God. Enemy has advantage. A victory well executed. Yo, this thing is a beast. <laughs> Oh my god. So I know it's all perfect at the end of the day. We tried out a couple rolls and uh, we ended it with the moving target head seeker. My goodness, it felt insane. Like, like as soon as I hit some shots, like everything was just bullet bending. GG's.